When the gray fossil site was first discovered in the year 2000, scientists could tell right away that the ancient clay of this fossil site wasn't the same age as the surrounding rocks. Those rocks are very old limestone laid down under a shallow ocean during the early Paleozoic era, hundreds of millions of years ago. And that limestone holds fossils of trilobites and nautiloids and other animals that lived in the sea long before plants and animals moved onto land. But the clay of the gray fossil site is ancient pond sediment, and it contains fossils of animals like turtles, tapirs, and mastodons, and plants like oak, hickory, and pine trees, all of which lived much later during the Cenozoic era, the so-called Age of Mammals. Our paleontologists wanted to narrow down the age of the gray site as much as possible. Could these be fossils from the Ice Age, hundreds of thousands of years ago? Or maybe they were from an early part of the Cenozoic era, tens of millions of years ago. When it comes to dating a fossil site, that is, figuring out how old it is, paleontologists have two main options, absolute dating and relative dating. With absolute dating, we find a natural substance that changes over time at a known constant rate. This could be an element that breaks down radioactively, or a mineral that builds up electrical energy, or one of a number of other options. Scientists can measure that substance to see how much change has happened, and since we know how quickly that change occurs, we can then calculate how long it's been since that substance was laid down as part of a rock, mineral, or fossil. That gives us an estimate of its age. This is a very useful dating method, but our paleontologists haven't found the right substances at the gray site yet to do this. So instead, they had to use the other main method, relative dating. Throughout Earth history, events have occurred in a specific order. The evolution of new species, extinctions of old species, moving continents, changing climates. Relative dating involves collecting evidence to figure out where a fossil site fits into this timeline of events. In the early days of Gray, we used the fossils, specifically our fossil rhinos and bears. The rhinos of Gray belong to a group called barrel-chested rhinos, which we know from other fossil sites went extinct around the end of the Miocene epoch, around four and a half million years ago. And the Bears of Grey are short-faced bears, a group that first appeared around 7 million years ago. Since the Grey fossil site was home to both groups of animals, that put the age of the site somewhere between 4.5 and 7 million years old. This age range puts us near the transition between the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. This is long after the end of the Age of Dinosaurs, so we don't expect to find animals like T. rex and Triceratops among the grayside fossils, and it's a few million years before the start of the Ice Age, so we also don't see woolly mammoths or ancient humans at Gray. At that time, the world looked pretty much like it does today, although the Earth's climate was a bit warmer and North America was home to lots of plants and animals that don't live here anymore, like those rhinos and short-faced bears. This makes the gray fossil site very special. There are no other known fossil sites of this age in the state of Tennessee, or in our neighboring states. That means gray is our only window into this time period for hundreds of miles in any direction. For paleontologists, it's a chance to study an ancient environment no one's ever seen before. More recently, our scientists have been identifying the small mammals of the gray fossil site, including rodents and rabbits, which have helped narrow down this age even further. Our latest information tells us the gray site is between 4.5 and 4.9 million years old. And in the future, as we identify more fossil species, hopefully they'll help us keep narrowing down this age estimate. And maybe someday soon, we'll finally find substances we can use for absolute dating, which might give us an even more precise idea of exactly how old the gray fossil site is.